So we pick up the story, if you remember, at the end of what I spoke of, there was great turmoil. Two world ages had passed. The great age of Atlantis, which was still there, its remnants were still there. The age which included Lemuria, the motherlands. What the god did was possess the sun so terribly through turmoil, writhing in pain and anger. And in that process awoke other beings, other entities. You can imagine the nebulas turning like a soup in a bowl, all these different ingredients all swirling. Amon became a creature, became something else, became so distant from its original state of being that on Earth, people started to call this the Dark Sun. Had other names as well. The name that is remembered the most is Kronos. This sun became an old, decrepit, possessed, you could say fallen, character. The rings that were run around and around this sun, they were pushed and created like an artificial construct, like scaffolding. But scaffolding not like we know of today on Earth, but scaffolding that was made of pure plasma and dust and stars and metal unknown to us on Earth. And this created a construct, a prison for Amon, with one purpose really in mind, and this was to create a prison for the soul of beings that had been living on Earth since ancient times.